uh, to this video. I've had a number of people request this video. Today's video is going to be meet all of our horses. We're gonna explain a little bit about who belongs to who and who we own and who we don't and who is who is who. So uh, this is Penny Pickle. She is a 15, almost 16, 16 year old Tennessee walking horse. She is the apple of my eye. We've only had this horse for a year. Um, she's my personal horse and I'm working a lot on bonding with her. It's come a long way and we're learning. Uh, she's learning to be my trail horse. She's an experienced trail horse. She's done extensive things with her life. I bought her from this really amazing lady who told me when I bought her, just listen to her, let her guide you. And I've been trying to follow that philosophy and it's made such a difference to both of our lives. She loves me and I love her. And she is a kind of grouchy mare. She's grouchy because there's another horse coming to me. We are working a lot on ground training right now, like groundwork. It's been eye-opening for me. I've been going really slow, trying to figure it out along the way. We're learning together. Uh, she's incredibly smart, ridiculously smart, insanely opinionated. This horse is very opinionated. If I do something wrong, she lets me know. She's not mean, she's very forgiving, and she's very understanding, but she does always let me know when I make a mistake under saddle, and even not under saddle. She's not super affectionate, but I know she loves me. She tells me. I swear if horses could talk, this would be the one that talks. I can't explain the way she connects to my soul, but you guys who know, you just know. When a horse connects to you, it connects to you. So this is Penny. Penny Pickle is what I call her because she, lots of times, <laughs> acts like a pickle. Sour. But I love her and she's mine and I'm so grateful that I got her. I bought her for myself for my birthday with the uh, approval of my family and we're on a journey together. This is my pony Gracie. She's a Dunalino. Oh yeah, she's got weird legs. She's got zebra striping down her legs and a dorsal stripe. She is pushy, slightly pushy. She is brave as heck. She is a force to be reckoned with. She does what she likes. Yeah, I got no treats in my She head. never has had any friends. No horses <laughs> like her, but we definitely Nobody love her. Nobody likes her. Yeah, so she, this horse totes She's all alone always at her old home and at this home, which is unfortunate because she's such a sweet girl. She loves people. So as much as my horse is kind of grouchy, this horse is the opposite. She's happy all the time. She's happy all the time. She's calm in terms of like, she's not spooky. She doesn't let anything bother her. She's adorable and she wears pink and that's what makes me happy. Gabby, what do you do with this horse? I don't ride her. My niece and nephew ride her. And she's super athletic. They're a little pony. How tall is she? 12.2 hands. So is that, she's at the top end of a small pony, right? She's a small pony. Uh, really hard to find a rider for her in any situation because at the school she used to belong to, they didn't ever have a rider strong enough and small enough to be able to ride her because she has a lot of energy and a lot of go and not much woe, right? Yeah. Also, my girl Penny over there, she also has a lot of go. Actually, no. Yeah, she's more woe Bye. than go. This is our pony Willow. How old is she? She's 18 years old. Yeah. How tall is she? She's 8.2 hands high or 34 inches. Um, I like to jump her because I can, she runs behind me and I go around the jump and she goes over the jump. Um, she's so smart, so versatile. She can do anything. This girl sat in a field for 15 years having babies. She had five babies. We don't do that. She had five babies and she came to us after she was retired from having babies. And she carries a blue fleck in her eye, which makes her, which makes her super uh, desirable because she often has blue eyed babies. What are your goals for her? Um, I wanna do like a jumping course with Willow. In hand? Yeah. That would be super fun. 
Uh, we spent a lot of our summers showing with our horses, so uh, it's difficult to uh, work with the ponies a lot in the summer on that kind of stuff. We usually spend the majority of our time with the ponies in the winter working them when we're home. She is a smoky black color. That's what she's called, but she's brown. She's really thick mane and tail. She has really thick mane and tail. So I feel kind of bonded to this little pony. She's really sweet and I, I can tell times when she like comes to me and asks me to do stuff. Also, she's another horse that I feel if horses could talk, she would talk. We love her. She loves me the most. Yeah, she is super bonded with Sophie and Sophie's taught her to do a bunch of tricks like show them how to kiss and smile. Oh yeah, it's Good girl. And maybe kissing. Here's a treat. <laughs> Good girl. We use a lot of treats in our training. And we've done a lot of natural horse, horsemanship with our ponies. So uh, this is our little arena that we have at home. And we play with our mares in it. We uh, do a little tiny bit of riding on Penny. Like I'll ride her inside. Um, we do some... We do a little bit of free jumping. We do all of our training and all of our um, horsemanship stuff and all of our all of our natural horsemanship stuff. We do all of our groundwork and stuff in here. We've set it up as like an obstacle course before. This is my horse Chino. He is a 16-3 hand um, appendix gelding. He is my current show horse. Last year, he took me to Trillium Champs. We came 10th and 12th out of 40 people. 49 people. 49 people. Yep, so he didn't place because the only ribbons only go to eight, but he came seven. seven and he got bumped, but he did really well. They did really well. He's a big, long fighting machine, currently has an abscess that we're treating. We board him here at the barn where I take lessons. We got Chino two years, two years we've had Chino, and we bought him as Gabby's step up horse, and he has been at our house with us, but we board him so that she can have access to an indoor arena, and so that she can ride him whenever she needs to, winter, spring, or fall. He's the second horse I've ever owned. This is my first horse, Storm. He is 15 two hands high. He is also a quarter horse. He was my very first horse. I learned how to jump on him. Now he's still our horse, but we lease him to our lesson barn. And now he's teaching other kids how to ride. It's true, he is, oh wait, how old is he? He is 14. He's 14, and we still love him, and he is really enjoying his life as a lesson kid. He likes being ridden by people who don't push him too hard and don't want, and don't expect him to be like a um, jumping machine. Right, Stormy Boy? This is my horse, Finn. I love him so much. He's a Palomino quarter horse, and he's 11 years old. He's 14 one and a quarter hands high. So he's a large pony, and he's got four white socks. You can't really see, because it's dark in here. And what do you do with Finny? So she started out in hunters with him and Finn pretty clearly told us he's not a hunter. He prefers jumpers. So Sophie went to jumpers with him and how did that go? Really well. We, don't, we got third the first time we went and uh, two third place ribbons because I forgot my course the one time because I could not hear anything. And they finished the entire series in champion. Reserve champion. Reserve so champion. she went to her very first jumper show on him and then she finished the whole series on him and ended up reserve champion over the whole uh, whole series and he wants to be a champion. We board him at our lesson barn with Chino so that we can ride him whenever we want to. This is my new lease horse Finn. So we have two Finns now. He's a flea bitten gray and he is 16 two. So, what are you going to do with him? I'm going to do him in jumping show. You're going to what? Ride him in jumping shows. Yeah. So, this is her extra show horse. She's going to bring along two horses, her one horse, and it, hopefully he's going to lessen the amount that her other horse has to work, even though he's a great show horse. He doesn't seem to like to 
be the only show horse. So, and he is boarded at the lesson barn too, right? Yeah. Right. All the horses we have? Three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven horses. And you know what? I said at the end of last year, I said we went an entire year with not buying a horse. It was a year in November. October, at the end of October was a year we went without buying any horses. It's now the end of January. A year and three months without buying any horses. So we haven't actually bought a horse. We just got a lease horse, but we went a whole year without buying a horse. I think that's pretty impressive. So seven horses, that's where we're at. Seven horses in camp. Hopefully that helped you guys understand who our horses are, where they all are, and the fact that our horses are all over make it confusing sometimes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like always, if you have any questions, comment below. Don't you know that you're beautiful?